What is going on, guys? I got to talk about this DeMarcus Cousins situation, man. Apparently, according to TMZ, he made some uh, threats towards his baby mama. Now, for those of you who may not know, DeMarcus Cousins recently got married. And you would think that by him getting married, he would be able to avoid situations like this. Situations that are going to put him in a very bad spot, right? Well, you would be wrong because now he's in a situation that could jeopardize his career, you know, possibly even his new uh, marriage, so to speak. Let's get into the article. So the Marcus Cousins allegedly told his ex-girlfriend that he would put a bullet in her if she didn't let their child come to his wedding. And the woman claims she has the audio to prove it. TMZ Sports has obtained court documents and a police report filed by DC's ex, Christy West, claiming the NBA star threatened her on August 23rd just one day before Cousins was set to marry his new girlfriend, Morgan Lang, in Atlanta. In fact, Wes recorded the, uh, the alleged threat and claims she played the audio for court officials, and now we have a copy of the same recording. I'm not going to play it here. If y'all want to see it, you can go to the TMZ article. But I just want to say this. It's very convenient for this to come out. Right when this guy was, you know, just getting married. And let me just say, I'm not going to, I'm not making an excuse for DeMarcus Cousins' behavior. I'm not. But why won't you let your son or, or y'all, both of your son, both of your uh, son go to his wedding? Why were you keeping his son from going to uh, the wedding? Is it because you're salty he never married you? That you're just a baby mama? I'm just putting that out there. I know that might be a little unpopular, but I have to point that out. I can't make this video and not point that out. He wanted his son at the wedding. You kept refusing to have his son at the wedding. Why is that? Is it because you don't like that he's marrying a new woman? You think that, you know, uh, you not letting your son go is going to keep him from marrying this woman? He married her anyway. But be that as it may, DeMarcus Cousins is in some hot water right now. He's one of the top trending topics on Twitter as we speak, or as I speak. So, yeah. Wes claims she made the recording while at a trampoline park in Alabama with their seven-year-old son. And she's adamant the voice on the other line is Cousins. Now, again, we still don't know, but we're going off of what she's pointing out there. I think she'd be very crazy to have a fake audio. But again, this audio could be months old. It could be years old. They're going to still have to prove that the audio is real. And the audio was, you know, um, recent. I'm going to ask you this one more time before I take it to another level. The man says, can I have my son here, please? Christy responds, no. That's when the man makes an alleged threat. I'm going to make sure I put a bullet in you listen, man. Demarcus would have to be an idiot to have done this. He would literally have to be an idiot to have done this because I'm pretty sure he knew she was recording. I'm pretty sure he has an idea that she was recording him because this don't seem like an isolated situation. She's probably recorded him dozens of times. Probably got a bunch of, you know, recordings of him saying certain things. And this is why, as men, you, you cannot be getting into these back and forths with your baby's mamas. You, 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 can't, be, you can't be doing that. That's, that's a situation that's going to be very disastrous for you. This is why you got to take the necessary steps to be more logical. Stop getting into it with your baby mama. May have, that may be my next video topic. That's when the audio cuts, but Christy has since filed court docs in Alabama seeking a restraining order against Cousins, claiming he also told her that he was going to take her out, even if he didn't have to get his hands dirty doing it. 
Demarcus. I, I just want to know would Demarcus really say this? Like, like, are you that angry that you would say this? And I want y'all to understand the timing of this. Right when he's getting married, this comes out. I'm pretty sure. Now they're saying this was day before the marriage. I don't know, but Demarcus would have to be a complete fool to be saying this, to be incriminating himself. As if he didn't think she would be recording. You can't put it past her that she wouldn't be recording, Demarcus. I know you don't now. I know now you don't put it past her. <laughs> uh, let's see. In the, uh, in the court docs, Christy also claims Cousins had choked her during a previous incident but didn't provide any specific details. That's probably because it never happened. It probably because it never happened. If you've never filed a report, then to me, it never happened. Because you're bringing up things that, again, we don't know when, we don't know where, we don't know how. Okay? She wants officials to keep cousins away from her and their son, but she notes that she's open to allowing Boogie to have uh, supervised visitations, which means she don't want that new wife nowhere near their new son. You see, I want y'all to understand that there really is no good person in this situation. Okay? I don't know their dating history. You don't know their dating history. So while judging this, both of these people tend in the wrong. And I'm going to tell you why. First off, you are telling this guy he can't see his, he can't have his son at his wedding. You know how much that means to him. And you're making sure that you make it difficult when you really don't need to. But because he wants nothing to do with you, because you haven't moved on with your life, you want to make his life as miserable as possible. You could have put all of the BS aside and allowed him this one day to have his son with them. If this is him on the on the recording, because we still don't know. The fact that, that you didn't you didn't allow your son or, your, or both of your son to go to the wedding just shows how petty you are as a, as a, as a baby's mother and how he is constantly having to deal with you. And this is why I and others tell a lot of guys don't deal with single mothers, um, because especially single mothers who have dysfunctional re, uh, relationships with their ex, with their with their uh, kid's father. Don't deal with them. Don't deal with them because they they're if, especially if they have a dysfunctional uh, parenting relationship with their ex. Don't deal with them. If they're always talking about how he ain't this and he ain't that, don't deal with her. Uh, Christy also went to the Mobile Police Department and filed a report with cops. A police spokesperson told us that they're open an investigation to the allegations. As of Boogie's wedding, it went down on Saturday as scheduled in Atlanta. While a ton of famous people showed up, his seven-year-old was not in attendance. Okay, there's an update here. It says, Lakers have issued a statement saying we are aware of the allegation involving the Marcus Cousin, of course, Take this claim. We take this claim seriously. We are in the process of gathering information and reserve further comment at this time. You know, I kind of will as well, but I, I just find it very interesting um, that it goes to this level. You know, I don't. I don't think it should have went to this particular level, but it has. As you look at some of these tweets, all of the major lamestream media publications are speaking out of this. Uh, let's see. The Marcus says the audio was ugly all the way around, made the mistake of sharing it for a few seconds. Quickly thought the wiser. If you're interested in hearing it, you can find it somewhere else. Let's see. A lot of folks have defended the Marcus Cousins as misunderstood for a long time, but if that recording by his ex is really him. He'll have a lot bigger worries than his reputation. That's really no defense for those words. This is him at his wedding. Again, there are no winners in this situation. This situation is sad all around. It, it really is. Because this guy went from having the best day of his life to now having the worst day because he's a trending topic on Twitter due to allegations from a baby's mother 
a woman who he probably hasn't gotten along with for a long time. I hope this isn't true because DeMarcus Cousins for a while now has been trying to rehabilitate his reputation. He's been trying to be more about the game of basketball than, you know, the, the issues that he has had early on in his career. And he has done, he started to do that, you know, and this would be an unfortunate setback, an unfortunate setback that I don't think he really needs. I, I just think that when you're dealing with your exes, man, you gotta, you gotta put some distance, man, because the one thing about not distance, but you have to have a, a working relationship. Like you, you have to be able to get along with each other. You know, for the sake of, of the kid, you, you can't be going back and forth with each other. You can't be having all these different issues with each other. At some point, you're going to have to make things go and go in the right direction. But to me, this is troubling on a lot of levels. Hopefully, you know, this isn't true, but we will see. Y'all can comment down below and let me know what you think. Make sure you like this video and follow me on Twitter as well.